You're listening to To Hatch a Pod with Key Budge, Corey Costello, Greg Garrett, and Ashley Whitmore. It's To Hatch a Pod time, Key Budge, Greg Garrett today. Greg, how are you doing? I'm doing good, Key. Thank you. I'm glad that you were able to make it in this morning. Last night, we had a city council meeting. Right. We take care of our business as we need to do. Not everyone's able to attend. And these podcasts are a uh, just another way that we talk about how we handle our business and at our city council meetings. So Communication is key, right? Exactly it's right. one of the Keeping reasons why we informed. have the podcast and the press releases and yeah. all the different things. I remind people they can always come to City Hall. They can always email me. I'll just throw that out in the beginning. So uh, several things on the agenda for uh, last night's meeting. Uh, we'll start with Police Chief Standridge honored and thanked Acting Lieutenant Dunham. He was a previous sergeant. We elevated him to the Acting Lieutenant role for several months, and he was steering the ship at the police department. And man, did he do a great job. He just knocked it out of the park. There's so much more to policing or community policing, as we refer to it in Tehachapi. Lots of rules, lots of regulations. And, and the, the troops, you know, you need a leader. And Dunham stepped up. So we want to say thank you to him. He's been one of our original Tehachapi Police Department members. He's been right. with our organization for 16 years. He understands the city. He loves the city. Mm-hmm. And the other officers and the staff at the police department followed his leadership. Right. So Standridge honored him, thanked him, a letter of commendation. We had a, a letter of a certificate of appreciation from the mayor. And, you know, Standridge, he pointed out something to me, and it was it's a good reminder It's not just Dunham, it's his wife and kids. Because when you serve in in a role like that, the family actually serves too. It's similar to the military, right? Whenever you're you're the acting lieutenant or a sergeant in any leadership role or, you know, an officer, quite frankly, the family serves. So we want to thank the family also. Absolutely. And it was it was really a beautiful moment because we made sure we took some photos with not only Jason, but with his wife, his kids. And for his kids get to to look up and look at dad receiving this acknowledgement, I think that's a special moment uh, for the family. It absolutely was. So thank you, Sergeant Dunham, for that service, continued service. Absolutely. Yeah, so next on the, uh, we'll just skip ahead a little bit because we had a lot of bureaucratic things we had to do for the state and the federal government, but uh, something that impacts us in a positive way here again in the city of Tatchby, we received a donation of park benches from a company called Canvas. And I know, Key, they reached out to you. I'm, I'm actually switching the role here. I'm being the, <laughs> the host. That's Why don't you right. tell us a little bit about this project, Key? Absolutely, Greg. <laughs> a few months ago, Canvas, who's based in Cleveland, Ohio, reached out to us with one of those too-good-to-be-true offers, thinking, yeah, it sounds more like a sales pitch, right? Yeah, that's what these guys want to do. They want to talk to us about recycled wind turbine blades and they're going to be outdoor seating. And it's like, okay, there's going to be a cost that's coming to us. Sounds to me like splinters and fiberglass. Yeah. And what do you mean by that, Key? And they absolutely, <laughs> uh, what they did is they are a solution to a problem in the renewable industry where these wind turbines that we see off to our east in the hills, those blades time out. They wear out and they have they go end up filling a landfill. Mm-hmm. And those are huge blades. Mm-hmm. So they, that was the problem. So this company came up with a design to take the actual blades themselves, these massive blades, and cut them into outdoor seating. And they refine them, and then they also use other composite recycled materials to fill in the seating. So it's pretty cool that we've got photos of these uh, benches that are part of the agenda, but we had an anonymous renewable industry company paid for all of this to be shipped to Tehachapi. So we're going to be one of the first communities to receive this outdoor seating. And it's at no cost to us other than our public works to install it. Uh, And there's no building. It's just a matter of offloading it with a forklift, finding the home, placing it, and that's it. So we estimate it to be about $50,000 with this order that was placed. And uh, we are graciously accept and we've Found a home at Valley Park. Yeah, sounds pretty nifty to me, quite frankly. So these blades are much larger uh, than I think the uh, the layman understands. You know, when you're driving 58 and you look over on the wind wall and you see these giant turbines, giant blades kind of spinning around. But if you actually get up close to them, they're hundreds of feet long. They're giant fiberglass structures. 
And you're right, they do time out. And so they're recycling. This is a win-win for everybody. So this company, they cut them up. Like you say, they've designed different things. And, you know, they'll reprocess them. They'll re-gel coat them, sand them smooth, put in solar lights, all those sorts of things. And I think it's a great opportunity for the public here in Tatchby and, and visitors to our town, all, obviously, to come in and see. So it's it's going to be a win-win. So Valley Park, you mentioned that. That's the new park with the State of California grant that's out to bid. And then we're getting ready to process that project. So that's going to be on Valley Boulevard over by Mountain View and Aspen. I think it's a perfect fit. It's uh, So thank you to Cannabis. Thank you to the anonymous donor. It's actually going to save the city money because now we're not going to be buying the benches that we had planned on so we can bring that budget down a little bit. So I think it's going to be a great opportunity and and a showcase for the city, for the community, for the renewable energy sector. Yeah, and they'll obviously, and matter of fact, I'm planning on having Canvas on a podcast so we can really kind of- Oh, that's a great idea. Dive into it and, and talk further. But one of the things is, is our history in this industry that's here. We're one of the, the original communities that has uh, wind turbines. And that's the reason that went behind this is the fact that they're going to use us as the flagship so they can show other communities what it looks like when it's installed yeah. and uh, how they can also, you know, acquire this, these items and, and place them themselves. It's kind of like working art. It is. So it's usable. I mean, hopefully people will use it. It's bench, benches, and then it's art. It's, they're really beautiful. And can on our website, so the agenda is on the website. So I know that there are some of the color photos. If, you ha- if you're interested, you can go to the website download our agenda and actually look or just call key and, and he can show it to you. And when this is being freighted out from Ohio and it's, uh, we should have in the next few weeks, uh, they will take photos and uh, we'll really kind of do a big kind of splash yeah. as it arrives. Yeah, really good. So the next thing, uh, item on the agenda. So this is a, this is one of the, the biggest deals uh, in a long time, obviously uh, nearly $7 million, close to $7 million that we received from the FAA and Caltrans Aeronautics. Who would have guessed Caltrans as an aeronautic arm of that department? But they do. So uh, we received the final confirmation from the FAA and the state of California that the city was awarded this nearly $7 million grant. We're putting three hundred, four, nearly $400,000 of our own money into this project. But out the airport, we're going to uh, build, design and build a new taxiway and then drainage improvements. Think about, you know, our valley, everything drains to the to the north because of the topography and all the water on Green Street and Denison, it goes to the airport. So it can cause some problems out there. So we're going to be uh, fixing all of that. So storm drain, drainage improvements. That project was fully uh, certified and approved last night. So we're going to hire, um, I think it's Miller Construction, and they're going to start immediately with that project. So really excited about this this big construction project. I mean, that's when you really think, when we break that down, it's a, uh, roughly $6.8 million, give or take. Our investment is less than 400000 The other $6.3, $6.4 million mm-hmm. is coming from grants. That's right. Our out-of-pocket is going to be about three hundred and fifty to 400000 that's the kind of return you, that you want to see. That's right. Small investment, huge return. That's right. And the cash flow. Mm-hmm. I was talking to our finance director, Hamed, and and Ashley, our airport manager. You know, cash flow, $7 million over the next year. That's a lot of money going through our coffers. But because our budget is healthy, we have that money. Because you talk about grants, you know, FAA doesn't send us, you good, know, $6 million, reminder, yeah. right? They will reimburse us. As time goes by, so we have to front the cash. But uh, Good I'm excited that our budget is healthy, that we can do that. In a, a year from now or so, plus or minus, we're going to have a brand new taxiway and underground storm drains. It's going to continually, you know, the infrastructure is, is you know, public safety and infrastructure, the maintenance of our town. You know, Measure S, here we go again, right? But it, it's all about, it's not the frills. You know, I know Chachby has lots of festivals and things, but we couldn't do that if we didn't have the infrastructure to support the public, the people, the businesses, you know, the, the storm drains, the, uh, the electric grid, the fresh water, the wastewater, all of those elements, the public safety, that's what we do. We do it well, and we continue to refine that business model. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, good stuff. And then that leads into... 
the festivals. Yeah, Mountain Festival. It's coming up here soon. So I know Cheers to Charity is coming up uh, this weekend. We've got Chalk on the Walk. We've got Mountain Festival. I know Claire, Scotty, and Jeanette Power, she, they came to the podium last night, and they were reminding the city council about all the different things that are happening over the weekend, the car show, get the down parade. on green, the parade. I mean, you name it, the, the rodeo, Artisan Festival, Artisan Festival uh, so many great things happening and in then our town. We've got... Uh, Farmer's Market, there are two left, two so left, right. it'll wrap the Thursday before Mountain Festival. That'll be okay. the last one. Super successful Farmer's Market. And then also over that uh, that weekend of Mountain Festival, uh, the high school football team, the Warriors, will be yeah, playing. Yeah, we'll so be hosting it, Friday night. Lots Friday going night on. Lights. Yeah, it's, yeah. <laughs> there'll be a lot going on, yeah. Yeah, so super excited. I mean, that we, we do festivals well. And then we've got a, a coffee with the mayor also on the 17th, and that's an opportunity to come out and have a conversation with your elected council members, city staff. We are there, both you and I, mm -hmm. and we answer questions. And a lot of people like a little bit of the, the quiet setting. To sure do they do, yeah. They don't come into a government building. They don't go to a city council, but they will come and ask questions. And I know that for you, there's people that, you know, that seek us out and they ask questions because they want to do it. They want that one-on-one, -on -one, mm -hmm. but they don't want a, um, a spotlight put on them. So yeah. they come with what seriously is on their mind. Well, it's it's it Quality amazes of life. me yeah, exactly. And so they'll walk in their front door, and you can see them, and they'll get a cup of coffee, and they'll look over, and then you know I'll wave and go introduce myself, and they're like, "Oh, you, you're Greg, or you're the mayor, uh, Davies," and they just want to sit and chat about. It. A lot of times, they just want to learn more about you know, kind of fill in the blank, more about this, right. more about that. A lot of times, they have questions. Sometimes they have some serious concerns about what is this. So we're able to to educate them, and then we're also educated too, right? It's two way street. We're learning on both sides, so it's it's a really beneficial tool for us to continue to do a good job to serve the public. And this has been an ongoing every third Thursday of each month at 7.30. We're at the Coffee Mill on Mill Street, or what was the Coffee Mill? It is Commons Cafe. I think I'll always call it the Coffee Mill. I know, <laughs> I know. And they and they rebranded with new ownership a couple of years ago, but it is Commons Cafe. Right. Uh, so my apologies for that. But uh, that's been a staple for years, going back to Mayor Grimes. Yeah, we started that, um, Mayor Ed Grimes and I started that many years ago. And uh, when we first kind of brainstormed, we thought, well, we'll give it a try and see. Immediately it was a hit. You know, and you know, some Thursdays, lots of people, some Thursdays, you know, it's a light crowd, but we're always there making ourselves available during that, you know, two hour period. And when you think about it, that's, this is our fourth mayor. So we had Mayor Grimes, Mayor Wiggins, Mayor Smith, and now Mayor Davies mm, yeah. have all hosted this mm -hmm. every third Thursday. So. And they're committed to it. And they other are. council members too kind of come and go a little bit. They absolutely do. And it works out well. And then don't forget, we have the Rotary Peace Poll dedication on August 17th, also at 10 a.m. Centennial Plaza. So the Rotary right. International, they started this Peace Poll a project where they're creating peace poles, building peace poles for communities and installing them and, you know, creating an area where people can just remind everyone there are different cultures, there are different people and, you know, be kind, be nice. Kind of when Mayor Wiggins had her be kind uh, campaign, it's the same sort of thing. There's, there's not enough of that in the world, especially if you watch the evening news uh, but in Tehachapi, we're all about community, and we want to remind people. So at, on August 17th, 10 a.m., Centennial Plaza, Rotary will dedicate their Peace Poll. So we invite everybody out to that. Perfect. Yeah. All right. Well, lots to do, lots of things coming up. We took care of business, paid all the bills. And it's always nice to pay the bills, isn't it? It is. <laughs> and it, everything, uh, you know, the opportunity for the community to come forward and ask questions, all mm -hmm. of those things present themselves at all these different venues that we have. Right. So we invite that. And with that, uh, we invite you that are listening. If you have a question, you can email us, media at Tehachapi City Hall. You can give us a thought, a suggestion, your question. We'll answer that for you on a future show, or we'll email you back directly if that's what you'd like. And that's that's one of the things that we do here. Well, and at Farmer's Market, that's why we have our booth. That's it's right. not just to sell shirts and hats. I mean, I'm there every Thursday. Right. Don Marsh is there. Uh, Jessica, sometimes you're their key. It just people, city employees are there, and uh, we want people to come up to the booth and chat with us. Right. If you have a question, ask. Let us know. Absolutely. Let us know. 
Uh, Greg, anything in closing? I think we're good, Keith. Thanks for the quick uh, podcast. Yeah, yeah, I think this, it's important. It's a little mini to hatch. There you go. All right, folks, we appreciate the time you spend with us. Again, send your thoughts, questions, suggestions, media at TehachapiCityHall.com. We appreciate uh, you, and we'll catch you again soon right here on Tehachapod. Tehachapod is a conversation about Tehachapi, featuring the community members who make this such a special place to call home. If you have a question or a thought you'd like to share, email media at TehachapiCityHall.com. Thank you to Gary Mazzola for sharing his song, This is Tehachapi.